Hello YouTube, it's me Darcy again with Pride Lounge Gaming, and we are back in Dust and Elysian Tale. Now, as you may remember, I was making my way to a village I saw at the base of a mountain? Cliff? Cliff. Cliff. That's the word I'm looking for, Cliff. Alright. Oh, there's treasure. Ow. I don't know what that explosion was. You get juggled. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, so that means there's gotta be. Unless if I gotta come from the other way, then yeah, the the bomb is probably at the other part past that. Get juggled. Alright. Oh, Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Ah. Lol. Having some trouble there? Yes, I am, Fidget. I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Ah, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. I love. Don't I I know I okay, went. Oh. Get up there. We'll just come back later. I know I've gone on and on about it, but I absolutely love Fidget. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I gotta time it right with those guys. Oh. like we're heading in the right direction. Yes, it does. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, it's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence. I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Which does extra damage. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, Put this beast out of its misery. Yeah, it does a lot more damage when they're dazed. Bunnies! And hello! I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet! But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, whoops, up on... I don't know why, I thought it was oh, up on the right stick. There. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So, we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes, it's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up. I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Oh, let's save the game.
Hello, I am here to help. Look! Please help us! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Oops. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. And there you go. Oh, my chain was bro. Oh boy. There we go. Ah, level up. Is that it? Did we get all of them? <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. Well done, Dust. <sighs> you have proven yourself a worthy swords master, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And Dust was there. <sighs> oh. Thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? Yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey! <laughs> what are you calling weak? Onward ho! Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, let's level my health up. <laughs> Chapter One: Destiny. All right. Oh, hi. Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. Well, that must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? Yep. I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Caleb here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Cora. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh... Or deposit in the mountains, you know, gold, silver, um, manganite. Pro 
prospectors, eh? You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. There seems to be a lot more cutscenes during this episode. I, apo I apologize. Fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Zara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Alright. Why, hello there! I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. <laughs> Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. <laughs> Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally, but this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Ah, oh, where are my manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say... You want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when. But haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. All right. Jess? Oh, uh, this guy. Good morning. Mm. Is it though? I, well, I guess. He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. I don't like that guy at all. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course, you're the one who saved Oneida. Uh, my name is Mosca and I am at your service. If you need <laughs> anything, just let me know. Fat boy. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know, why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe. Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been needing to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is i just i, I want to make sure she's okay with all these monsters around there's been no word from denim at all 
Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much. You're great. You're really, really great. Aww. Ain't that cute. Um, safe spot here, I want to say. No, chest. Let's open it. Bam, 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 bam. What do I get? Alright. Oh, this guy. You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. What's in the box? <laughs> if I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Oh, I'm so close to leveling up. Oh. Hi there. Well, hello. Uh, you're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. Orbit much. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. Well, that was rude. One, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty? Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I, I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I, I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Onwards and upwards, as we always say. Oh, there's treasure in this area. Oh yeah, might as well go in here. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Let's see, do you have anything? Two attacks, six attack. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> four defense, one lock, yes. Oh yeah, revival stone and all that. See, do I have anything that you don't have? I do. Two attack, two lock. Two attack. There we go. Okay, and now exit. Thank you for coming in. Come up, yeah. Okay, well, first things first. Oh, that's a nice blueprint. I gotta make sure I get that made. Equip, and then six attack. Oh, oh wow. Well. That'll, well, that'll be nice. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. So we want that, and then that. And now I'm going to character defense. There we go. And here it is. Where's this thing? The 
jump as far to the right as I can. Huh. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Maybe you oh, can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Yes, he Calm could. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. I'm about to give you a reason to absolutely hate Gianni. Gianni! Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. Then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. So yeah, you, you don't like him. Oh, let me think about where. Yeah, Ivydale Glen, uh, Glen, I can't English, is over off to the right, to the east. And then there should be him. Good day, I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, 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 hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. 
Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... Like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. My controller is falling. Oh, you dust? Of course, if My you bad. said no, <laughs> I need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful, and I'll be back. Okay, let's see. How long have I been recording? Okay, well then. Make a run back here. And with that, folks, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, yeah, I do apologize. It was a bit of a quieter episode this time because there was a lot of... What's the word I'm looking for? Context. That's the word. Context. There was a lot of context. Whoops. This episode. Um, so. Uh, yeah. Next episode, trust me, there's going to be a lot more action. This is just a bit of a... This one was a bit more introducing you to some more characters. I absolutely hate uh, Gianni. But, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, all that jazz, all that, that song and dance, you know, I'm not gonna rattle on and on about it, excuse me, and, as always, I, or Karai, will see you in the next video, until then, bye!